Now this is one of the more complicated kinds of problems that we'll do. <clears throat> this problem is not just simple one little particle leaving or uh, you know splitting spontaneously. This is um, a process where we have a nucleus bombarded with a different nucleus. So in other words, we're going to smash two nuclei together and see what happens. And the two nuclei that we smash together, we're going to start with those. So they're both going to come before the arrow this time. And so we are going to start with U238. And that's number 92. And this time we're going to add to it. We're going to hit it with a carbon-12 nucleus. Well, what's carbon-12? Well, it's carbon, and 12 is the mass number, and we know that the carbon has six protons, so that's what we're starting with. We're going to bombard, we're going to smash those two things together and see what happens. And so we're told that we are going to make a new nuclide. It doesn't tell us what that is. We're going to figure that out. But we're also told that it's going to give off four neutrons, so the way we show that, we have four neutrons, and a neutron symbol has a mass of one and a Z number, atomic number of zero, and so it's going to look like that. So this is a coefficient. We show that there are four neutrons by putting the big number four out front and then putting what uh, a neutron symbol looks like. And so now we've got to figure out well, how do these add up? How do these all add up to equal the same on each side? So let's start with the bottom. That's a little bit easier. Before the arrow on the bottom, we have, uh, for the atomic numbers, we have 92 and 6, so that's 98. So on the right, they have to equal 98. Well, this neutron has 0 for its atomic number, so we can ignore that. 0 plus, nine plus watt equals 98. Well, clearly the answer is 98. We need 98 on the bottom. And scribble that out. So what is element number 98? We know that's a Z number. 98 is... Californium, so we're going to put the symbol for Californium in there, but we're not done yet. We've got to figure out which isotope of Californium that is. And again, we look at the uh, totals over here. The mass numbers here add up to 250. So over here, this has to be 250. Well, what have we got over here? Well, we've got only one, but we have four of them. Four ones is four. So four plus what? equals 250. Well, I would guess 246. 246 plus 4 is 250. So this adds up to 250, this adds up to 250, and that's how we know how that reaction goes.